Today we are learning how to change an improper fraction into a mixed number. An improper fraction looks like this, where the numerator is larger than the denominator. It means my fraction is bigger than one whole. So let's say we're asked to write 11 fourths as a mixed number. We'll start by drawing 11 fourths. I do this by drawing one whole, breaking it into fourths, and shading one, two, three, four fourths. Then I draw another hole, break it into fourths, and shade five, six, seven, eight fourths. I need to have 11 fourths, so I'll draw another hole, break it into fourths, and shade nine, 10, there's my 11th fourth. Now I can stop. Now that I've drawn my improper fraction, I need to write it as a mixed number. First, I'll have to count how many holes I have. Well, I can see that I have one whole square, two whole squares. Then I can count that I have one, two, three fourths left over. I can write those as a fraction like this. So altogether, I have two holes and three fourths. Now let's practice one of these together. What is the correct way to write 8 thirds as a mixed number? We need to start by drawing this improper fraction. Which is the correct way to show 8 thirds? This image shows 8 thirds. Now to write this as a mixed number, I need to count how many whole squares I have. How many holes do I have? Well, you can see I have 1, 2 whole squares. And what fraction do I have in my last square? You can see I have 1, 2 thirds. So how can I write this as a mixed number? Well, you can write that we have two holes and two thirds. Here's another problem to practice with. What is the correct way to write 14 fourths as a mixed number? Start by drawing 14 fourths. Which of these correctly shows 14 fourths? This image correctly shows 14 fourths. Now to write this as a mixed number, I need to figure out how many whole squares I have. How many holes are there? You can see I have one whole square, two whole squares, three whole squares. And then what fraction do I have left over? Well, you can see I have one, two fourths left over. So altogether, what is my mixed number? Altogether, I have three holes and two fourths. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What is the correct way to write 11 thirds as a mixed number? Well, once you had drawn out 11 thirds, to turn it into a mixed number, you just needed to count how many whole squares you had. You had one, two, three, three whole squares. So this could be written as three holes and then one, two thirds more. It's the mixed number three and two thirds. Now here's your last problem for today. What is the correct way to write 7 fifths as a mixed number? After you drew out 7 fifths, to turn it into a mixed number, just count how many whole squares you have. Here we only have 1 whole square. Then we have 1 2 fifths more. So our mixed number is 1 whole and 2 fifths. Today you learned how to change an improper fraction into a mixed number.